Welcome guys, welcome back everybody. Uh, this is a new form of video that I'm trying to see. I just had the idea of doing it. And tell me guys if you uh, if you like it or not. Uh, which is basically, you know, uh, political videos of what's happening in the world. I don't know, I, I've always been fascinated with politics. Or at least geopolitics is very interesting to me. So, basically what I'm gonna be reacting to, well, not even reaction, I just read on the Wikipedia what's going on, I read a few articles on what's been going on in Kazakhstan, I'm just giving my report to you guys. Uh, so basically, some of you are not aware, there were a, a lot of protests that sparked in Kazakhstan in uh, the beginning of January, as, as you can see here on the Wikipedia, on the 2nd of January, and they lasted one week until the 11th. Um, now, the cause of these uh, of these protests were uh, basically mainly because of the rise of gas price and because of the corruption of the government. Uh, and there was this one um, leader, uh, this guy, Sultan Nazarbayev, who was the leader of Kazakhstan from, the, or the president of Kazakhstan from 1990 until 2019, but he was also basically the governor of Kazakhstan uh, even before so. Even he, in 1984, he ended up taking power in Kazakhstan in the Soviet Union. So the guy has been in power forever. I mean, 35 years going. It's so, I mean, some insane number. And basically, there were protests. 250 uh, people have been down, uh, have been killed uh, until, uh, until, you know, the protests by now have been resolved uh, from my latest news. And... Uh, you know, uh, there are a lot of objectives from the protesters' point of view of why this should happen, why was it, uh, wh why these protests should happen in the first place, and one of those was they wanted to uh, basically, you know, uh, you know, uh, decrease the the fuel prices you can see here on Wikipedia, and you know, uh, make the government destroy the government, not, not so much destroy, but make it go down from this guy apparently, and. They want to, the removal of immunity and resignation of basically the dictator. Uh, well, I, don't, I don't know why I'm saying this. The dictator of Kazakhstan who, and his uh, the removal of, of from his seat from the Security Council. Now they have accomplished most of those uh, demands, uh, and some of you might be thinking, uh, might have seen the news and have seen uh, Russian power troopers basically, you know coming into Kazakhstan and may, may, might have been asking yourself why is this the case? Why, why is this happening? Well, it's the following. It, it's uh, the Collective Security Treaty Organization, which is basically the equivalent of NATO, but for former Soviet republics. And which is, as you can see, this is the map of the CSTO. And as you can see, they're basically, it's basically Russia, Belarus, Kazakhstan, and well, we're gonna see the, the members, let's see the members, Amer Armenia, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, and Russia, which is basically, those no nations are together, and they have a sort of a, basically, it's the equivalency of NATO, uh, give or take, if you wanna, it's very simplistic the way I'm saying it, but that's basically it, and that's why, you know, Russian troops uh, came into, into Kazakhstan, they were invited in, by the regime and so yeah that's pretty much uh, what I've been able to gleam from uh, from my very very thorough research on the on the subject and so guys if you if you like my uh, my, my thoughts and my comments and my reaction to this uh, leave a like maybe leave in the comments if you want to see more from this I, you know I'm interested in doing more from this so we'll see uh, yeah I'll see you guys next time Thanks for listening.